Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now today we have here some pretty exciting devices. I should let you know that in terms of the pricing, they're sort of around the region of a thousand ringgit. So this puts this at very budget, affordable price range. And the model that we have today is actually the Note 40 5G as well as the Note 40 Pro 5G. These are the special edition, you know, ones that are designed by, you know, Design Works, a BMW group company, and it does look very, very good. So both devices are sitting right here. So let's take a look at, you know, which device is more suitable for who because they actually do come with a ton of similarities with very detailed differences that you know is catered for a different set of users you know let's take a closer look now first things first i think we should talk about what's similar over here so to start off like i said the price is very affordable i think the pro version is going for 1098 and the non-pro version is going for like 1299 yep that's correct the reason why it's a bit more expensive is because it has a larger storage so that's just in terms of the pricing now what's actually similar here is in terms of the processor they're both powered by the dimensity 70205g chipset so you know in terms of performance you're going to be expecting something very similar they both do perform quite well in terms of gaming that's the uh, x boost frame rate feature that actually works very well in Mobile Legends, which I do play a lot, that actually keeps the frame rate very stable, very high, you know, even though you're playing for a long period of time. So that's great there. Now, since I'm talking a bit about gaming, in terms of the speakers, we do have stereo speakers for both, and they're also tuned by JBL. So the sound is actually quite good as well. Now, another cool feature that's uh, shared between both devices here is in terms of the wireless charging. And if I'm not mistaken, these are actually the most affordable smartphones here in Malaysia to actually support wireless charging, which I think is fantastic because it just makes it so easy to you know, charge your device. Now, the final thing that's similar across these devices here is actually in terms of the updates that they will be getting. So, Infinix is definitely giving a bit of commitment here because they are promising two years of major Android upgrades and three years of major security patches. So, you're going to be covered for at least two to three years if you actually do get one of these budget phones. All right, so what's actually different between the two and who is it really for? Now, let's move over to the desk here as we find out a bit deeper. All right, guys, so now that we are at the desk, let's take a closer look at these guys. Now, the one on the left, this boxier guy is actually the non-pro version and the curvier fellow is actually the pro model. So let's take a closer look. Obviously, they look very similar in terms of the back panel. I like the fact that they do have this sort of like resemblance to the M logo. Check out the colorway at the back here. They both have the same you know, M tri-color going on. And if you just look closer here, there's a kind of a couple of racy stripes going on at the back. Very, very racy kind of look. It's like the M logo. Imagine if we just stuck this here. Hmm. Okay, so let's start off. The first difference, like I said, is actually in terms of the display. So if you just flip the device to the front, this is where you'll see that on the non-pro version, it's actually using a flat display. Now, I know a lot of you gamers out there actually prefer a flat display. So if you're the kind of person who likes that, this is the kind of display to go for. However, if you also appreciate something like a curvier display, you know, this one looks very 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 good they're both 120 hertz uh, refresh rate by the way and they're both amoled displays so they have great viewing angles really awesome displays on a phone at this price point you can't really go wrong with your choice now the second thing like i mentioned is in terms of the storage and ram now like i said this now the non-pro version is actually the more expensive one rm1299 and that's because it comes with more ram as well as more storage so it has 12 gigabytes of ram and you can expand it by another 12 gb so you have 24 gb total and in terms of storage it has 512 gigabytes of mega storage guys so that's pretty insane for a phone at this price point i'm moving on to the third difference that's actually in terms of the cameras they look very similar because they both carry triple camera setups however you just look closer at the tiny detail at the back here uh, this is where it's actually written the pro model actually comes with ois whereas the non-pro model doesn't come with that However, the megapixel count is the same. They both have 108 megapixel camera. They both have that macro as well as death lens. So they're both very similar. It's just that one has OIS and one does not come with it. Now, moving on to the final difference. Now, this is actually related to the charging speeds. And this is where you actually take a look at the chargers that are in the box. Now, the one on the non-pro is actually a 33 watt unit, whereas the pro gets a 45 watt fast charge. So it's just a bit quicker on the Pro model. Now, in terms of the wireless charging speeds, they're also slightly different. The non-Pro model gets 15 watts wireless charging, which is again quite quick already. However, the Pro model gets that 20 watt wireless mag charge. So that's actually fantastic. All right, guys, so those are the main differences that you can find on the Infinix Note 45G as well as the Infinix Note 40 Pro 5G. In summary, which one should you choose? Well, it's actually quite simple. If you're looking for something that has super large storage, that mega storage, 512 GB, and 
if you are looking to have that flat display, I know a certain group of people out there actually prefers gaming on a flat display. You don't really like the curved display. Well, I would say that, you know, just go ahead and get the Infinix Note 45G. However, if you are liking something like this, a bit slimmer, you like the curved display, you want the faster charging, you want OIS in your camera, and you want to save a couple of bucks. Well, I would say that the Infinix Note 40 Pro 5G is definitely something that you should check out. For the amount of money it's asking, just slightly more than a thousand ringgit, you're getting, you know, a fantastic design. I really like this silver aluminum kind of look. It's also matte, by the way, and you're actually getting a quite decent set of specifications on the Infinix Note 40 Pro 5G. Regardless of your choice, they're both great devices anyway let me know what you think thank you for watching today's video all the way to the end if you have any further questions feel free to drop a comment down below as well i look forward to seeing you guys in the next one do take care and stay safe bye bye